The new cryptic code is pretty crazy. When it enters, we cloak the top card of our library, which means we put it face down on the 2 2. That's protected by Ward 2. And cryptic code immediately attaches to it, turning it into a 3 2 is unblockable. But it gets even better. Because we're 2 mana, we can return it to hand and then replay it again. But there's even more. Because if the face down cloak card is a creature, we can turn it face up at any time for its mana cost. Had this card been printed years ago, this would have been the best card ever. Because just six years ago, some control decks ran Batter Skull. Their whole deck would be removal, counter, and then Batter Skull to finish. As someone who played this deck, I can assure you that it was as painfully slow as it seems. But Batter Skull being able to return itself meant it was basically unkillable. And Cryptic Code is just so much stronger. But despite all these upsides, is Cryptic Code even playable in today's magic? If we play it fairly, probably not. But fret not, my big boys, Daddy has a plan. If we blink our face down cloak creature, it'll re enter face up, even if the card isn't a creature. In a perfect world, we'll get lucky and cloak something really big, like Mama Milkers, shutting off our opponent's triggers, and doubling our own. That means if we play Cryptic Code after Elish Horn, we'll cloak two creatures. But it gets even better. Because Cryptic Code's an equipment, we can dig for it with Stone Forge Mystic, also working really well with Ephemerate. And because we want to find big things to cloak, the first place we'll try Cryptic Code is an Omnath deck. Before anyone gets too flaccid, ever since Furry was banned, Omnath decks have kind of been getting dicked down and could really use our help. Omnath gains us a nutload of life, counteracting the life loss from Ring. Because we'll want to be attacking with our Cryptic Code and often won't have blockers, the Ring's protection is very useful. Then there's Solitude and Leyland Binding for removal, and their triggers double with Elish, and they're scary to fear to bounce. The Lighted Halfling to Ramp also stops our legendary stuff from being countered. And lastly, Calls are complete, which we can find with some Forge, coming out as a 5 with haste. Never stop board. We have Graveyard Hate, Cascade Hate, Counter Hate, Weenie Hate, and the new card Picker Poison to take out artifacts, enchantments, and flyers. That is the deck, and now it's off the seat in action. Opening hands, okay, we'll keep. Upon digs, more land for us, and we'll set up with Halfling. Upon digs, more, and place Handler. We draw on math, point for one, and place on Forge. Ooh, subtlety, okay. With Omnath coming next turn, that's fine. And we'll send it back. Upon dash is Ravioli. As Zerp Dieter as it feels. We'll look Solitude. Exalting Ravioli. And it's back to us. And you know what time it is. Omnath time can't be countered. Oh, when you draw a ring. Upon digs out of sadness. And we pass. And Ephemerate. Happy birthday to us. We'll make some mana. Play a ring. We'll draw. Finding another ring. Hit them for four. And send it back. We're tied for them. Upon passes. Solitude. But they probably have counter. We'll draw. And now it's Cripple Coat. We'll first make a nut little mana. The play coat. Does our opponent want to counter? No. Come on, cloak something good for daddy. But say you ew. In that case, we'll return coat to hand. Replay it. And now something good. We cloak a coat. Not terrible, but not worth ephemerate. We'll pass. They spank us for six. They pass. Binding nice. We'll draw some more. And all this is pretty good. But no fetch for Omnath. We'll first try for binding. Oh, on counters. What we probably should have done first. Scary to fairy. Darn subtlety. But now they're out of cards in hand. Oopsie poopsie for opponent. Because Vokes all food. Exile more tide. A primary solitude. No more channel for them. And nut for nine. And realizing that their butt shoes can't take any more clapping. Our pawn concedes. We're gonna go to we're gonna turn to. Opening hand, we have halfling someone to keep. A pawn plus drive your leash. And bubble. Still not bad. I imagine they have removal for halfling. Yeah. We draw a primary. Now let's try for halfling. They try to counter, but we'll stop the counter with veil. And our midget hits. On digs. And they swing. We'll take that trade. And land for us nice. Put out cryptic coat. Cloaking pick your poison. A pawn plus drive leash. Ring cross. Play another coat. Coat hits. This coat does find a fairy. That could be useful. We'll swing. And what? They use removal on the second one? Oh, shoot. That's so evil. So Ravioli fondles us. They empty their hand and play Murktide. But tragically for opponent, we'll play ring. Draw. Ooh. I'm not for us. Play my Murktide. And swing it for three. We have protection so they can't attack. We draw picker poison. A little longer than a few minutes later. And after a thorough spanking, our opponent concedes. I think they sent us a message. Jesus says, Puss? No puss. That must mean that Jesus is so impressed with their deck that he's offering us puss. If we keep this up, I bet there'll be a lot more of that. So let's go get that puss. So in the next match, we played against that shadow. In game one, we got super flooded. And on top of that, our opponent discarded us. And they easily took game one. But then in game two, Cryptic Coat helped us survive long enough until we locked down the game with all math. So now it's off of game three. Opening hands pretty good. We're in a cave. A bone push Ravioli. Ew, land for us. We'll try for Halfling. They dig with bubbles. And they have removal. Most unfortunate. They get to play soccer and a second binding nice. But uh, for now, we'll have to take some damage. One of cycles. And they fist us for four. Finding our lockdown, that would have been nice. And opponent digs. Finding a land. Then they pass. And oh, oh, nap, wonderful. What happens if we pass? They swing. Play on binding number one. Taking out Ravioli. Binding number two. Taking out soccer. Our opponent must be devastated. Land for us. We could play Omnath this turn. But that's way too risky. So we'll wait one turn. Opponent dashes out Ravioli. Finding our solitude. And they play it. Too bad we can't ephemerate 
it. And the raw math. We'll play one. Meh. We'll say two. Dash on the rap keep. We gain four more life. Bonus high pulls. Play the channeler. Reveal leak. And death shadow. Dang, that was pretty scary. Oh my, what is this we've drawn? Could it be solitude? We'll hold solitude and pass. Pond digs. Finding a bobble to dig some more. Opponent swings. This is extremely risky. We'll block the shadow. Even though it's a 7 7. Flash and solitude. Takes all the channeler. And they gain three life. Taking shadow of 4 4. Wisely, they attach and stock. Both shadows back to the 7 7. Both memory solitude. And realizing how math works, our opponent concedes. The post just keeps on coming in. And now it's off to find more. Opening hand's pretty bad. We'll mull. Ew, I guess we'll keep this though. Wait, my minding, that's nice. Opponent dashes out Reveal Leak. We'll binding it. And opponent passes. More land. We'll play the fairy and pass. Opponent blows the fairy with low masters. And burning inquiry. We each draw three and discard three at random. And that will trigger blow masters, giving them a 4 4. Draw Mystic. How about we play Coat? Cloaking a Leyline. And then we'll pass. Oh, we take out our creature. And send the fairy to Jesus. Ring, that's pretty good. We just gotta deal with blow masters first. Okay, daddy has a plan. We'll play Mystic. Finding calls are complete to draw out the removal. Like that. And they play Croxa. I can come back next turn. Balance coat to hand. And we find another ring. This feels bad, but play the fairy. We'll weaken their token. They dash our Ivy League. And they pass. Oh, Nath, okay. We'll play on Nath. And find Solitude. But no white cards in hand to evoke it. That's pretty racist. We bring back Croxa. Um, coat. We'll have to discard every time they attack. Oh, like the winding. This is very risky. We'll first play ring. And pray to Santa for a fetch. Froth. No, oh, stupid halfling. We have protection, so we'll pass. Void Cocker for opponent. And we're forced to discard. That's on land. But Daddy has a plan nonetheless. We'll put out Binding. Eggs on Void Cocker. Now we'll draw two. And finally land. We'll gain four life. Make four mana. Replace all food. Exile Crusty Croxa. And then some Forge. Find Coat will pass. Ooh, they yeah, bring. And Burning Inquiry. Luckily no Blow Masters. Void Cocker could play any of these cards, but I don't think they would. Back on our turn. That was Horn. We'll draw three. And ooh. A Femory is pretty good. We have just enough mana. Play was Horn. Bring. A Femory Solitude. Soul Triggers. This isn't Ella so cool? That protection soul pass. They play Mount Doom. Who lands away from popping off of it? And they play Void Cocker. And Beseech the Mirror. Uh oh. They can grab any card from deck. They grab Ring Surf. In that case, we'll draw. Call to Trust. A Femory Rebounds. Soul Exile. We really need land here. Draw only find one. Play Cryptic Coat. Soul Trigger. Finding Ring and Binding. In four. Play New Ring. Two hours later. And finally, we take game one. That was long and hard. And now we got a speed run. So I think our opponent might be psycho. They really just didn't give a shit about the timer. In the next game, they played Wheel of Fate, making both of us discard our hands and then draw seven cards each. Do they not see their timer? Oh my gosh. What a strange match and technically we won. So now it's on the next one. Opening hand, one land. Oh, we're on the draw, so we'll try it. Opponent plays Bobble. They surveil the land and pass. And a land, perfect. We'll play Halfling and pass. Oh, bold. If I'm right, that's pretty good. We'll play Mystic. Finding Coat and we'll pass. A hump passes. And shoot, no land for us. And they might have Teddy here. So we shouldn't activate just yet. Oof, they pass. Activate Film Forge. That worked. Ooh, and on F. And a land. Happy birthday to us. We'll swing. And our opponent does nothing. We'll pass. One plays Bobble. And what's happening? They pass. Alright, activate Film Forge. Code hits. Cloaking a land. Our opponent passes again. I suppose we'll swing. Opponent takes it. Oh, they play removal. Targeting on F. We'll let them play the war. And Femorate. On the centers. So we draw. And mesmerized by our greatness. Our opponent concedes. We're going to answer this random scram too. Open hands okay, we'll keep. Oh, Ravio Leaf. Ring Cross. We take two from Ravio Leaf. Oh boy, Magus for the moon. Eh, well, I think they have us. A pretty fast game too. Now that we know they have Magus, we'll bring in more solitude, and with that, it's going to be three. Opening oh, hand is balls, we'll mole. And slightly less balls, we'll keep. Ravio again. We'll binding it while they're tapped out. Upon digs out of sadness. And passes. More land for us. We'll pass. And it's our dear friend Magus. At least we have one basic. And we land ring. One pair of pants later. Another basic. Draw. Oh no. Dead to our own coat. Such a tragedy. But at least game one was kinky. And now it's on the next match. So in the next match we played against Mill. Game one was really close. And then in game two we had double endurance in hand. The shuffle our graver back into our deck. But our opponent extirpated it from our hand. And without endurance we got clapped. A pretty stinky note to end the league on. So we'll do one more paid match just for fun.
fun. Opening hand seems acceptable. We'll keep. Uh oh, is this in Lotus Bloom? Is this odd nauseum? Okay, super risky. We'll just put out Salt to now. The we'll try and aggro out our opponent. We'll swing for three and pass. Our opponent plays Prism the Ramp. Mystic Cross, nice. We'll wait on binding the Prism. Play Mystic. Finding Cauldra. But their Lotus Bloom comes down next turn to make them three mana. On digs. And dig some more. And they pass. And their double ass is hurting them. So there's still hope. Activate some Forge. And them them for eight. Which means they're at three. And City of Ass will put them at one. But they could nut out seven mana this turn. Ooh, correction on life. To buy them some time. Which means if we swing here, the first strike damage will deal nothing. They'll then get four poison counters. And they lose on ten. Four poison counters for them. Oh, opponent digs. Wave ad nauseum. And the pass is a work and even if we exile it, they'll still win the game here with zero cards lost in deck. That was very close. We're going to get two this round two. Opening hands decent, we'll keep. Putting on Halfling and Chalice. Oh, with Hot Seas. We'll pass. And Lotus Bloom is coming in two turns. They dig. And here's the trouble. Endurance does stop fast as Oracle from winning them in the game. And since our opponent knows we have Endurance in hand, there is no point in holding onto it. We'll flash that Endurance to shuffle the deck. Oh, so Forge. This for four. Play some Forge. And we'll pass. Oh, with Hot Seas. But they still have an answer our chalice yet. Wish to offer Lotus Bloom. This for five. No Lotus Bloom for them. And realizing that they're pregnant, our opponent concedes. Well, we must settle things game three. Oh boy. Um, forges. We'll keep. Why one for us? A home passes. Play some forge. Putting cauldron in hand. A home passes. Activate some forge. And fist for five. A home pot seizes. Grabbing her some forge. Spank for six. What? Intervention packed. So they prevent damage and gain life. But on the rough keep, they need to pay three mana or they lose the game. And two that has to be double white, which they could make with jumps on mine. Or we could besage you. If they have any kind of plans in deck, they'll survive. If they don't have a plans in deck, we'll win on the spot. This is extremely dirty dirt. But we'll besage you their land. Please no planes. Darn it. On digs. What? And they commit seppuku? They tried to find City of Ass, which they dig for, but they lose one life for every card deep it is. In other words, their ass was too deep. So there we have it. Daddy was quite impressed with Cryptocoat, but not so impressed with Omnath. And Ring, they felt a little underwhelming. Without furry in the deck, it's a lot harder to answer the opponent's threats, but I would certainly like to try Crypticode again. So if you have any ideas for those decks, you can share them in the comments below. Many more videos on the way, and until next time, stay to me thick.